Hello everyone, we're going to be talking about how to upgrade the firmware on the SkyZone 030 goggles. And uh, first of all, what you have to do is go to the SkyZone Hobbies website and under the download um, tab right here on top, you click download and it'll be, on th in this case, it'll be the first firmware. So you download this one, the one that says not applicable for Sky. O3S and original Sky O3. So you click that. Once you open up the extract the files, you'll see four files on the inside. And so it'll be firmware F, the release notes that tells you the version of the update, and uh, these two other firmwares right here. So once you open up the release notes, it actually tells you what for, what the latest firmware is. Uh, based on the firmware that you just downloaded off of the download page right there so those are that's what it's going to be um, downloaded to and uh, I just checked my goggles and it'll be hard to see actually but the version that I have is the first one is 1.1.0 the next one firmware 2 is 1.1.2 Firmware 3 is 01.02.00.04. Now that I removed the faceplate off of the goggles in order to access the side button better, you'll notice that on the left side, you'll have a button that you push from the inside outwards. Mine actually had a, a metal casing around it with a plus, uh, plastic uh, round button on it, but... It just fell off it was very flimsy and it's not very stable but you can still click it so the way this is going to work is you plug in your uh, micro usb uh, cable to the goggles and then to the computer without turning on the goggles and so i actually have my my battery pack here ready and so what you're going to do is with a pointer or something to be able to reach this button you're going to click it and you're going to actually hear it click so you're going to press it as you can hear it you can hear it click so when you click it you're going to hold it down and at the same time power up your goggles and you should be able to see it being recognized by your computer once you do that a uh, new drive will pop up. For example, on my computer, it popped up a uh, USB drive G, and that's the goggles. After holding the button and turning on the goggles, it was recognized by the computer. So what you're gonna do in this uh, folder right here, you're gonna open up the folder for where the firmware um, is that you downloaded, and these last two files, you're gonna select both of them, and you're gonna copy them. So make sure it's these right here with the ST32 and the TW. And you're going to come to the window where the goggles popped up. And you're going to paste them onto this window. So once you do that, it'll copy them. And it's actually installing the firmware onto the goggles. So this can take anywhere from 30 seconds to 60 seconds. So just be patient. So once the files have been copied, that means the firmware has been installed. So now you can go ahead and close this dialog box and go ahead and, and unplug your power source from the goggles. So what we're gonna do now is disconnect the, the micro USB cable and power up the goggles and check the version and make sure that it was updated accordingly. So now with the goggles powered up, it's really difficult to see with um, through the video recording right now, but the firmware was successfully installed. And the only difference between that I see, I don't know if it's a typo uh, on this uh, release notes, is where it says firmware 2, 1.4.5. On my goggles, it actually uh, reads 1.5.4. So the four and the five are switched. But other than that, the firmware was successfully installed. Now that we successfully updated the firmware on the goggles, 
we're going to update the DVR firmware and that's separate from the uh, firmware update we just did. So what you want to do is uh, grab the SD card that you want to uh, put in the goggles. In this case, I have this one, a SanDisk Ultra 32 gig, and I'm going to insert it into this adapter and then insert it into my computer. So now that the micro SD card is read uh, on the computer, what you want to do is right click it and select format. And we want to make sure that it's formatted in FAT32 file system. So in this case, it's the default and um, I'm going to leave quick, quick format enabled, but we're going to click start and it shouldn't take too long. So it's asking if you are sure you want to erase everything, go ahead and click OK and format complete. So after the micro SD card is formatted, uh, we open up that folder. There shouldn't be anything there. So it should be an empty folder like this and go back to that download folder you just downloaded from the sky zone hobbies website and you're gonna copy this file right here firmware f which is the first one right here so go ahead and copy it and um go ahead and paste it onto the micro sd folder right there once you've inserted the micro sd card back on the goggles and turned them on you're gonna go through your menu and it actually doesn't read the uh, micro USB update for the DVR yet. So what you're gonna have to do is go through the menu and uh, go to the third tab where the little camera is. And you're going to uh, go all the way to the bottom and select DVR FW upgrade. So firmware upgrade. And then that way it'll upgrade it. Uh, and it might take a minute to two, so just let it do its thing and you should be ready to go after that. After the DVR firmware update is complete, it'll uh, say upgrade complete on the screen and you're set. That's all you have to do. Just uh, go ahead and format the micro SD card through the goggles and you're set to go out and fly. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.